u square plus 2ax okay so every time when you want to use this equation you must remember okay you must list down all the informations first so for example let's say for equation 1 we use equation 1 when we don't have the displacement we use equations 2 when we don't have acceleration we use equation 3 when we don't have the final velocity and number 4 when we don't have the time taken so we can use equation number four so let us start discuss exercise three question number one a car start from the rest so the rest meaning that u equals to zero the initial velocity and it's accelerate uniformly for t equals to five seconds over a distance of so here they give you the displacement s equals to 100 meter find the acceleration so we have three informations with u equals to zero uh, a is the value that we want to find okay so we have u equals to zero we have t equals to five and we have s equals to 100 okay so you have u t s you want to find acceleration so based on just now the four equations we want to find uh, acceleration so we use Equations that don't have final velocity, so we can use s equals to u t plus half a t squared. Where this equation we don't have the final velocity. Okay, so you substitute inside s equals to one hundred u equals to zero plus half a. We want to find t is five seconds squared. So if you rearrange back the equations, you will get eight meter per second squared. Okay, so this is questions number one next we go to questions number two okay questions number two also we need to find three informations the first one is we have t equals to 16.2 second we have the distance s equals to 1200 meter and it take off from rest meaning that we have the initial velocity equals to zero so first one, find the speed on the leaving the ground. So meaning that we want to find V. Okay, we have T, S, U and you want to find V. Okay, so equations that is suitable is we use S equals to 1 over 2 U plus V T. Okay, so you substitute all the value inside the equation. U is 0, V we don't know, T is 16.2. So if you rearrange back the equation, you will find out that the final velocity when it leaving the ground, you will get 148.1 unit is meter per second. Okay, 2B. Find the acceleration during takeoff. So we want to find Okay, we want to find the acceleration. Okay, uh, so we have t u, we have t s, and also we want to find the acceleration during it takeoff. Okay, so we can use v equals to u plus a t, where v is one hundred and forty-eight point one, u is zero, a is the value that we want to find. T is 16.2 Okay, so A acceleration is equal to 9.14 meter per second squared Okay 
if you don't want to use this equation you also can use another equation uh, where we can use v square u square plus 2as okay because we already have v we have u we have we want to find a and we have s okay if you don't want you also can use s equals to ut plus half a t squared this equation also you can get the answer where a equals to 9.14 meter per second okay so next one we go to questions number three so again you need to find three informations so what are the three informations that we have the driver of the pickup truck is going 100 kilo meter per hour applies the brake Okay, so meaning that initially our U, you must find out first, is 100 km per hour. Okay, and it applies brake, giving the truck a uniform deceleration. Why deceleration? Because it's slowing down. Okay, from 100, it press the brake. So we know that our acceleration is equal to negative 6.5 meter per second square and it's travel for 20 meter so our s displacement is equal to 20 meter so find what is the speed of the truck in kilometer per hour at the end of this distance so we want to find when it reached 20 meter it already stopped or still moving so we want to find the velocity when at 20 meter okay so they ask you to find in kilometer per hour okay later we can convert huh? okay so first you must convert kilometer per hour into meter per second first so 100 kilo kilo meaning that is power of 3 so you already convert to meter per hour so 1 hour equals to how many second 1 hour equals to 60 minute and 60 min 1 minute equals to 60 second okay so our initial velocity will equals to 27.78 meter per second okay so now we already have three informations where we have u a s and we want to find v so the most suitable equations is we use v square equals to u square plus 2 a s to find Okay, so our u square is 27.78 square plus 2. A is negative. Why is negative? Because it's deceleration. Okay, negative 6.5. S is 20 meter. Okay, so if you find out actually all the units that we are used are the same, meaning that we are used in meter and in second, not in km, not in hour. Okay, so you must convert everything in meter and second first. So finally, you will get the answer is 22.62 meter per second. So meaning that when you reach 20 meter, it's still moving with 22.62 meter per second. It's not stopped yet. Okay, but the, un the question asks us to find ki in kilometer per hour. So we need to convert. Okay, so we need to convert it become kilometer per hour. Okay. Ah, so this is V yeah. Okay, after square root Okay, so 22 22.62 Okay, meaning that It's still in meter So you want to convert meter to km You must times 10 to the power of negative 3 Then it will become Kilometer okay, Initial is per second So per second you must Convert Per second is 1 over 60 times 60 so now it will become hour okay so you will get finally 81.43 kilometer per hour so this is our answer okay next one how much time t we want to find the time taken okay so we can use v equals to u plus a t Okay, because all the informations we already have, uh, we have U, A, S, and B. So actually, you can use any of the equations as long as 
the equations have t. So we use the simplest one, v equals to u plus at, where our v is equals to um, our v is equals to at. Okay, we use back meter. Okay, we use back the meter per second. Okay. Okay. So our v is equals to twenty two point six two. Of course, this one you use meter per second. You also you must use meter per second. Twenty seven point seven eight plus a. A is negative six point five, and you want to find t. So our time taken is equal to zero point seven nine four second. Okay, so you may pause the video if let's say you want to practice. Okay. Questions number four is a speedboat. Okay, a speedboat moving with thirty meter per second. So the first informations you have is u equals to thirty meter per second. Okay, approaching stationary buoy maker with one hundred meter ahead. So our s is one hundred. The pilot slow the boat with constant acceleration. Negative because it's become slower. Negative three point five because it's decelerate by reducing. Okay, so how long does it take? How long meaning we want to find the time taken? So you have U, S, and A. We want to find T. Okay, so you refer back the four equation. Which equation is suitable? U, S, A, T. Okay, of course the. Equation s equals to u t plus half a t square. Your s is one hundred. U thirty t we don't know plus half a is negative three point five t square. Okay, so if you uh, substitute all the value, you will find out that actually you will get one point seven five t square. Minus thirty t plus one hundred equals to zero. Okay, so you arrange this one in quadratic form where we have t square minus thirty t plus one hundred equals to zero. Okay, so if if you press the calculator, you will find that you have two answer, or you can get. Twelve point six one second. So, which answer that we will choose? Okay, of course we will choose the the first one, nah, because this is when you uh, reach the first time. Okay, so twelve point six one is when you go, and then you go back, and then you go again. So this is the second time that you will reach the time taken. Okay, so our answer is. T equals to four point five three seconds. So this is the answer for the first time when you reach. Okay, B. What is the velocity? So we want to find the the velocity. Okay, the velocity meaning that we want to find V. What is the answer for V? Okay, so as just now, um, Madam already mentioned you have U, S, A, and of course you have T. So any equations you can choose, uh, because we already have all the information. So of course we will choose the easiest one, V equals to U plus A T, where your U is thirty, A is negative three point five, and T is four point five three. Okay, so if you press the calculator, you will find out that. When you reach there, it is equals to fourteen point one four meter per second. Okay, so that's all for today. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.